李霄。Lately, I've been pretty good at tearing stuff down, because I do it a lot, and I enjoy it. It's fun, doesn't cost much, and I see immediate results. And it turns into great bonfires, which we've established lately I enjoy very much. I bought this house three and a half years ago, and moved right in with a plan of fixing it over time. Being a photographer, I don't know much about fixing houses, and since I've spent most of my time building the farm and dealing with the animals, the outside of the house still looks like it has done for many years. So this story starts about four months ago. You can even see old track Thor in the background there. That's from when I took the pictures before selling it. Ten minutes after uploading that video of deciding to sell it, I got a visit from Sigge, you know, my trusted welder friend from up the street. He wanted it, and what a better way to part with the tractor than selling it to someone you'll know take care of it. And that way it kind of stays in the family, if you will. On the top of the list of what needed fixing was definitely the roof. It was leaking and started to act as a safety hazard for the ones walking underneath. It has probably been leaking for many years, but it was so full of holes, even though rainwater got in, the wind dried it up pretty fast afterwards. I didn't know much about fixing a roof, and neither does my friend Kalla, but we decided that wouldn't stop us and got to work. For safety we wanted to make a scaffold to walk around on and stop the fall if we should slip or do something stupid like that. Now, we didn't know anything about making a scaffold either, but Kala watched a lot of YouTube on the topic, and somehow we had a plan. I think we did a good job on making them, mounting them, well, not so much. <laughs> We almost took out a poodle in the process. She had been avoiding the scaffold all day, but she was more afraid of the camera in the air, so she was seeking our support. But since we were busy looking up, we didn't notice we had a dog around. We secured the dog and got it up in one piece, and the next day I decided to do the other side by myself. At the time it felt like a good idea, but it was much harder doing it by myself. It's amazing how much easier it all is when you have an extra pair of hands, or a mind. Although Kala is my best friend and we run a business together, we live one and a half hour apart from each other. Life happened and we had a lot to do at work, and a couple of other things that needed my attention, so the fixing of the roof itself got postponed indefinitely. But it feels pretty good anyway. We made something that works and is safe. We've had a lot of wind lately and, and it's, it's still standing. But the best part of it though is to just have it there when people I don't know show up. Uh, like this UPS delivery guy uh, came with a package, took one look at the place and said, welcome to the neighborhood, you just moved in, right? And I like, nope, lived there for three years now. This just <laughs> doesn't look like it. But now I don't feel so bad when people come, they see work in progress and leave it at that. So I guess if you feel embarrassed about how your house looks, just put up some 2x4s around it and you'll feel a lot better.
Just when I decided to wait, I got a text from a neighbor asking what the plan with the scaffold was. He'd probably driven past it hundreds of times without much happening. He knew a thing or two about fixing a roof and offered to bring the family and help me out. It had been raining for three weeks at the time, but the forecast predicted nice weather the upcoming weekend, so we got the materials and gathered some other friends and just went to town. As a host, my job was mostly to run around and find stuff we needed, but after a couple of water buffalo burgers for lunch, I also got to contribute and get my hands dirty. We ripped off the old roof on one side and replaced it, and the plan was to do as much as we could before dark, which it was around 4 o'clock, and finish the next day. But we were on a roll, and I had some lights we could use, so we just kept on working. We started 9 in the morning, and by 6 o'clock at night, we had finished. So now I have a brand new roof on one side and don't have to use pots and pans to collect rainwater inside anymore and that feels pretty amazing. So now the plan is to wait until spring and move the scaffold around to the other side and fix the rest of the roof when the weather gets a little bit warmer. Even though it sounds kind of weird, uh, the best thing about this day wasn't that I got a new roof. The best thing was to be around good people and do stuff together as a team. I usually do stuff by myself and that takes a lot of time, but here everywhere I looked People were busy doing something. We were crazy efficient and helped each other out. Everyone was in a great mood and it felt amazing just to be there together. And that someone takes the time from their busy schedule to help me out and my kids so that our lives get a little bit easier is something that I'm immensely grateful for. That day really stands out to me in a year that was challenging for a lot of people to feel the power of what you can accomplish when you join forces and help each other out. And the importance of just hanging around good people and great friends. I really hope that we all get a chance to do more of that this year. So hang in there. And if you feel alone, don't be afraid to reach out to someone. Maybe they feel alone too. And you can help each other out and support each other together. I'm E. I don't have a leaky house anymore. Thanks for watching. Thanks for spending time with me. And thanks to all my great friends that helped me do this. See you in the next one.